Hey guys, um, I wanted to show you guys our new report creator. It's on our App Store. So if you go to Apps, App Store, uh, you can just search for Report. Right, right here, Report Creator. So basically, you now have the ability to create your own reports uh, instead of having to go through our support staff. We even support uh, exporting to CSV or Excel files, and you can even create graphs. And, uh, we go to reports, and there's a new sub menu here called report creator. So let's create a new report. I'm going to create a report uh, for the gradebook entries. So let's say gradebook final grades as an example. So the first thing you want to do is select uh, which modules you want to um, report on. So I'm going to take a list of students. I need the subject names and uh, I want to report off of the gradebook. And maybe for kicks, I want the teachers for those gradebooks. Now, these this list of uh, modules are dynamic based on you know what you've turned on. Um, if you have if you're part of a group school, you may see a section for schools, and if you've turned on uh, multiple apps, you may have a section for for apps as well. So here are we have our list of uh, fields. So let's let's pick up a uh, student name. If you wanted to report off of your custom fields, you know you can select those as well. Let's grab the teacher's name. Um, the teacher's custom fields. Let's grab the subject name, and I want the grade level for the subject. Let's grab both the marks and the letter grade. All right. So now that we've selected the fields, let's click done. And now we have our pivot table. So this is the raw data that's been picked up from your account. Now the nice thing about this is you can actually drag and drop these. Look at these. So I can move the uh, subject name to the front, for example. There we go. So now English and Math is in the front. Or I can put the grade level in the front. This. All right, maybe grade level, subject, and then student, um, and then teacher. Maybe we'll put teacher first. All right. Uh, the next thing you can do is add filters. So what field do you want to filter on? So maybe I want a specific grade level. And then in here, I can select which grade levels uh, I want to include. It tries to be smart about um, what fields are available for your filters. Once you've set up your filters, you can click run again to update um, uh, the result set. And uh, you can even export it. So if I click on export, you can include the headers to export to Excel or CSV. And here's the neat thing here. If I click on graph. So here we can report, we can create a graph and we can select how we want to uh, view the graph. So let's just say pie chart and average grade. Click OK. And it produces you know, the, the chart that you've uh, selected. So in this case, it's averaging all the grades. Now, this graph has a drill down capability based on the way you've arranged your pivot table. So you'll notice the first one is Azroy. This means the teacher's name. If I click on that, it goes to first grade. If I click on that, you'll see math and English, and you'll see the averages for math and English. If I click math, it shows me the five, uh, the six students that I have. So if I change this, let's say I want um, the student first, and then maybe the subject. And let's uh, redo this graph. Let's do a line graph. Instead. Let's do a bar graph instead. So now we see all our six students, what their average grade is. And I can click on a student, and it shows me the grades for the individual subjects. Again, it's, it's moving down this list of uh, fields that you've set up in your pivot table. So it's really neat. Um, you can basically drill down as much as you want. You can kind of design how you want to display your, your data. And that's it.